Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Brian's Basement. Appreciate you joining me, it's been a little while since I've had an episode like this, but this weekend was, or is, it's still going on, the Baltimore Comic Con. It started yesterday and it's going until Sunday. So I was lucky enough to be off work and able to go to the Comic Con yesterday and I picked up some really cool stuff. There were only two places that really had a lot of video games. Retro Replay, which I've covered in a previous video. Uh, I went to one of their stores and Cartridges Galore. Um, if you're from the Maryland West Virginia kind of area, you might be familiar with that place, but I picked up some really good stuff, so I kind of want to go through it, show you guys, because it's been a little while, show you that I'm still into video games, show you what I'm still into. So let's get right to it. Don't want to keep you here too long. So we'll get started at the top, at the smallest piles. Let me shift all this to the side. First off, we've got Time Cop. Pretty sweet to find this one. Uh, my buddy Chris told me about this a while ago. I love the movie. It was Jean-Claude Van Damme, one of my favorites. Never played the game. It was great to find. It had like a label across it. Uh, I ripped it off and it looks all right. I mean, some of the label came up, but whatever. Time Cop. Maybe we'll see that again in the future. And then uh, a Turbo Graphics pickup. I saw a stack of Turbo Graphics games, and I kind of just like had to go through them. I just love Turbo Graphics. Always have, always will. Not always have, but ever since I got introduced to Turbo Graphics, I've just been a fan. So this is like a shooter apparently, and love shoot 'em ups. So happy to add this to the collection. You know, can't go wrong. Cybercore. Didn't even I, I know nothing about this game. Uh, and then let's go into the next smallest pile. So we got two Game Boy games, one Game Boy Color, one Game Boy Original. Um, I never knew King of Fighters 95 came out on Game Boy. Kind of blew my mind finding this. That's always one of my favorite things about like hunting for games is just like going in there and Sure, I have like the sets that I'm trying to complete, which is like more of an OCD thing, I guess. But like then there's like, you know, just finding weird shit and that's part of the fun too. So like um, I always check the Game Boy games because Game Boy games are small and I have like a binder and I just like stick them in this binder and it's just kind of easy and fun. So and it reminds me of my childhood. I love Game Boy. So, King of Fighters 95. No idea what this is gonna play like, but it's cool. Um, then we have fucking Ghosts and Goblins, man. I've been looking for this, and to find this just like randomly at, this is the one I picked up from the Retro Replay booth, and it was just like tucked away in the corner. I mean, it was kind of expensive, but it's Ghosts and Goblins, man. Love Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Ghouls, Ghosts and Goblins, that whole franchise. I know there's a name for it in Japanese, but blanking on it right now. All right, and then we've got, oh wait, ah, I did not go in order because I got a Genesis game. Raiden Trat. I love the Raiden series. I have like everyone on various consoles, but I was missing this one. And I just saw it, had to pick it up. Happy I did. Look at those like neons, so cool. Might have to pop that in after this. This is great. So awesome. Love Raiden. Raiden, probably Raiden would be the correct way to pronounce it. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ra Raiden, yeah, yeah. I call it Raiden, but it's Raiden. So, and very interesting. It was cool to find this, and it has the manual, which I always love. Always like getting it with the manual. 
that we got some master system stuff. This was like after I had gone around the whole floor and not seen that many video games or like VHS tapes or anything that besides comics. I mean, I like comics, but I'm not like a huge collector of comics. So, um, so I went back and I looked in like one of the cases and I found Ghouls and Ghosts for Master System, which I've passed on this game before, but I'm happy that I picked up this one because like this manual is like the nicest Master System manual I've ever seen. Usually they're all like annihilated and crushed and like, I mean, this is just, it's like a, a new Master System manual. It's really nice. So I know this isn't like the greatest port of Ghouls and Ghosts, but I love the game and oh, so interesting, Ghosts and Goblins. This is, so this is like a, I'll have to do a video on that because I don't really know the minutia because I know there's Ghouls and Ghosts and then there's the Super Nintendo one and then, ah, anyway. And then I found Enduro Racer. You know I love Hang On. You know I'm a big Hang On guy. And to find Enduro Racer, I didn't even know they made it for for the uh, Master System. So to find that was a treat. This was like on my second walkthrough as well. So I got some good Master System pickups on my second walkthrough. And then let's move over to Saturn. So with Saturn, you know, it's kind of just like, if I see Saturn, I'll go through the stacks and see what I need and pick it up. So we got Thunderstrike 2. I don't know about this game. I guess it's like a helicopter, maybe? Maybe like that other game? Maybe, sorry. <laughs> I remember there was like a Genesis game with a helicopter. Maybe I'll put, be able to figure it out and put the name in underneath. But <laughs> anyways, and then F1 Challenge. Never heard of it. These are like, I guess, relatively common titles that I just didn't have. Shell Shock. Don't, didn't have this. They had some other titles that I didn't have, but they didn't have the manual. And it's like with Saturn, if you don't have the manual... It's just, it's just whatever. It's, it's what's the point? What's the point? Because then you got to go through your, the presentation's all thrown off. It's not like it's just a box. So, and then we got the Incredible Hulk, which I was all right paying, paying out the nose for because it's Comic-Con. So I got like a comic themed game at Comic-Con. So four more games to my Saturn collection. I'm like less than 50 games to completion but I've just slowed down at this point but you know when I'm out and about at events like this that's the perfect time for me to like try and find things and then my NES collection which is kind of getting down to the wire I'm getting to like there's still some more common games but it's getting to the point where things are pretty rare and it I'm not gonna lie, it gets somewhat weird and annoying when I have to go through my app because I can't remember what I have at this point. And it's like, and it's been so long. I mean, I haven't I haven't really bought NES games since the last Comic-Con. So, anyways. But there were some, a big pickup that I got here. Gotta thank my wife for this. Thank her for buying this for me. Wayne's World, Wayne's World party time excellent i know like they they made like a couple versions of this game I, I apparently this one's okay i know the super nintendo one sucks but really excited for this i should have saved this for last because it's i'm just but this is awesome i've been i've been looking for this and i want this and to find it just out in the wild and they had two copies to be honest um, both of the labels were a little bit messed up, but this one was at least still stuck down. So, went with this, you know. Can't go wrong. Wayne's World. So, then we have Vice Project Doom, which looks awesome, and it came with the manual. 
which is cool. I've I've wanted this one because it reminds me of like the shitty action movies that I like. You know, that guy kind of looks like Bruce Willis a little bit. Um Yeah. <laughs> this this one always interests me when I was going through the title list on like the game tracker apps and stuff. So Vice Project Doom looks pretty sweet. Another one that I have, but it's sealed, and I'm not going to open it. So I got it loose, because I've never played this game, actually. Shatterhand, I've heard it's really good, so I'll have to check it out, maybe today. Um, and yeah, Shatterhand, baby. And then we've got two more, last two. Power Punch 2, which... This is a weird one because it looks like that guy looks like Mike Tyson, but then if you get like a really good look at his face, it's like not Mike Tyson. So I'm assuming they had licensing for Mike Tyson and then it probably fell through and I don't know what the story is behind that, but I didn't have it, never seen it, picked it up. So, and then last but not least is Galaxy 5000. It's like a racing game, and it's giving me, like, F-Zero vibes. I'm not really sure. I've never played it. I've seen it once before, and it was expensive as well. I think I paid, like, 70 bucks for it. It came with the manual and some, like, artwork. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> Look at that. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> and then it came with the manual, as I just said. So, you know, um, spent a little bit more than I probably should have or wanted to, but it has been a while and I've been kind of holding off on video game stuff. You know, I have been spending money on car stuff, so it's not like I'm really doing well, but, you know. It's for the collection. It's for the collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely check out the Baltimore Comic Con. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff there. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed coming down to Brian's basement once again. And we'll see you next time.